Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll learn how to use MATLAB mobile sensor data in order to draw our route and speed information on a map. First, we'll see how to obtain position data from MATLAB mobile. So we click on MATLAB mobile icon. It starts to connect to MATLAB's cloud. Okay, once it's connected, you can click on the menu and you click on sensors. Then you can choose whichever sensor you want to activate, like acceleration, magnetic field, orientation, angular velocity, and position. I'm going to click on position and I'm going to click on start. Okay, once we think that our data session is finished, we click on stop and we click on save in order to save the log. And later on, we can upload this log to Matworks Cloud. It's trying to do it automatically and it's done. As you can see, we have one data which has not been uploaded automatically. So we click on upload so that that is uploaded as well so we can use it from our matlab directory on our uh, laptop once we open matlab in our pc and select matlab drive in the folder panel we'll be able to see our sensor logs in the mobile sensor data folder let's double click on it and see the list as you can see here we can find all the sensor logs that are uploaded until now so you can use this logging property of matlab mobile if you want to keep track of your walking running cycling or driving sessions and also play with the data as you wish we'll now use one of these logs in order to use its position sensor data and draw our route on a map including speed information with color map in my example the log will be having my driving data as i was passing from asia to europe in the terrible traffic of Istanbul. For using this example, you need to have the mapping toolbox installed. And of course, for using MATLAB mobile and MATLAB, you should have the appropriate licenses. For the code part, I'll use the main section of the MATWORKS example named acquire GPS data from your mobile device and plot your location and speed on a map. I'll be providing this link in the video description as well. However, in that example, obtaining and using the sensor log from MATLAB mobile is not perfectly demonstrated. So I think this code that I'm sharing, especially the initial data loading part will help you. You can get the exact code in the GitHub link that I'm providing in the video description. So let's see how our code works. First two lines are for clearing the workspace if anything is open already. In the third line, we are loading our sensor data by the load command. Here you can also indicate which sensor data you'd like to use by adding it to the end of the line, such as position, magnetic field, or whatever. This is just in case we had activated multiple sensors for logging and if you want to be careful with the memory space. After loading the data, we get the latitude and longitude and the speed into three vectors. Just to mention the speed unit is meter per second. However, I'll be using kilometer per hour as well. After this line, we use the code from the example from MathWorks, which performs the most important parts, such as dividing the speed information into 10 separate sections, adding the latitude and longitude sections to the geographical shape vector. So right now we are in the final section of our code. We are opening the OpenStreetMap by the WebMap command. Here we are using OpenStreetMap. However, there are other options that can be used. In addition to this, you can change the view after the map is loaded. We will see how it works. In the following lines, start and stop coordinates are marked on the web map. And with the line starting with VM line, the route is printed on the map with a color identifier for the speed. Here I use the copper color map since it better reflects the traffic jam with darker tones. However, other choices are also available such as hot, cool and etc. Here on the map, as the color tone goes from dark to bright, the speed increases. We can see this color mapping with this supporting figure. In this supportive figure, we will be able to see the speed and color mapping. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our code. As you can see, a web browser opens and it's indicating our route on the map. So as you can see, we had identified our start point, we had identified our end point and the color map shows at which speeds we were in. 
as you can see the lighter tones correspond to higher speed while darker tones correspond to lower speed and in the supportive figure as you can see we have 10 different speed bins in the darker tones we have lower speed and in the brighter tones we have higher speed if i click on this you can see that the speed corresponds to 109 kilometers per hour let's choose another example in this one the speed is 60.62 kilometers per hour and it decreases for example to 12.12 .12 kilometers per hour so this figure allows us at which speed we were in in the map you can directly click on the map and see at which speed interval you're in for example at this point we are in line 8 and that corresponds to 84 kilometers per hour you can choose another one for example this is the highest speed and if you click on the darker tones it's line 4 so it's 36.37 remember that these values are interval values so the speed at that exact point can be more than 36 or less than 36 but it will be in that range this was the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it in this video we use matlab mobile and its position sensor data to keep track of our displacement you can enhance the code with combining other sensors data such as magnetic field in order to create a magnetic field map on your route thank you all for watching and hope to see you in another video bye